I'm going to show you how we create a peer-to-peer -peer file sharing network. So on each of the machines, we need to install two bits of software. So the first one being the command line, and the second one is the Nutella, which is the peer-to-peer -peer file sharing software. So apply those changes. So that's going to be put on each of the three clients. That's command line, Nutella. Is, is fairly repeated, repeated there. Okay, so that's all the software installed. Next thing we need to do is we need to create our files. So we're going to do that by going to the command line here. And if I, if I just do a ls here, that stands for list directories and, and files. And there's a directory called peer to peer. In here now, this is what's going to be visible to, to the other machine. So I'm going to now create a file there just using touch, which literally just creates a file. There's nothing in the file, it just, just creates it. So peer to peer, and I'm going to call this one uh, file one just to be able to differentiate it from the other files I'm going to put on the other machine. So file one just because I've got the, the one there uh, at the end of the IP address. So I'm just going to click now enter on that. So that's now created the file. I'm going to do a very similar thing now on, on, the, other, on the other machines as well. So right click, show desktop. So on here now, I'm just going to do touch which is what I need peer to peer and then that's file which is three there and then finally this one here command line touch peer to peer file two so I've created now three files on three different machines and close this down. So I'm going to go, go to my client one here and show desktop. And if I now go to uh, Nutella on here, what I can do, I can click on files here and this will tell me the files that I already have on there. So on, on machine one, yeah, it's just, just file one. If I went to file uh, machine two, it'd be file two and machine with the IP address of three there, it would be file three. So you can see how that works. That's just files there. So now what I want to do is to be able to access the files on the other on the other machines, right? So click on network here. So I'm going to add in the IP address for, for the other machine. So that's two. That's network. So we'll, we'll find that. And then for, for this one here too. So there we go. So I've got my machines now added there to the connected connected machines. And if I go to search here, and I'm going to search. Um, does a sub does a substring so you can just put file in there and what it will do is search for all the files called file on, on the other on the other machines now that are connected so click on search here so there you go it's picked up file two and file three and if I click on here now I can download this file now to, to the local client and this one here as well to the, to the client I'm on and if I now go to files you can see all those three three files are there and if I just just prove that. Go to here. Go to the command line. If I now do an ls on the peer to peer uh, folder, you can see all three files are there now. So that you can see there on that client network, I've been able to to share the files.